Hi, I'm Varun Gupta, VP of Engineering at Salesforce. I work uh, on the infrastructure and distributed systems at Salesforce, the infrastructure that hosts all the Salesforce applications that we uh, that our customers use, uh, and most of my team is responsible for managing the life cycle of that infrastructure, expansion of the footprint, and as these services operate, uh, 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 managing the, uh, uh, the infrastructure uh, for those services, uh, as well as uh, by running Temporal as a service for, uh, uh, for a Salesforce to allow other teams to be able to just focus on their business and application workflows. My name is Sahil Wazirani. I'm a principal architect uh, at Salesforce, been with Salesforce for over eight years now. And my day-to-day -day job involves dealing with complex engineering problems and uh, solving them uh, in unique ways. I've brought in Temporal within Salesforce, the team that helped uh, us to you know, manage uh, infrastructure lifecycle operations and build durable applications uh, using the power of the Temporal technology. Yeah, so I deal with all the technical problems. So I would say I'm like the CTO for running Temporal in Salesforce and Varun handles all the engineering and management aspects of it. Uh, yeah, yes, we work very closely. We partner a lot on solving technical problems, solving business problems, figuring out what kind of strategic initiatives we should go for next, where should we invest our engineering resources, and uh, how do we enable applications at Salesforce to get the best out of Temporal and out of rest of our infrastructure? How do we enable Salesforce to get to markets uh, faster for new markets and uh, overall run an efficient infrastructure setup? First uh, the problem we were trying to solve was uh, the, trying to orchestrate these bespoke uh, auto, uh, tasks for setting up infrastructure. When you're building a product, there are many microservices that go in setting up a, a, a product uh, that we serve to our customers, not just one application that can serve the whole uh, enterprise grade uh, software. So we had to figure out a way to automate these tasks which were about connecting uh, these different applications to come up uh, in, co uh, in a uh, unified cohesive way and uh, Temporal seemed like the great technology we could uh, stitch together many different uh, activities and tasks uh, through an automated setup without having to have engineers go and manually make the change uh, manually execute tasks even if we had automation it was not interconnected. We had to uh, we, uh, we had to have engineers go and press a button, uh, and then execute the next automation, execute the next automation. And uh, uh, Temporal has enabled us to, uh, and that's where we started with Temporal, enabled us to really chain these tasks together and get true end-to-end -end automation working in a very durable, predictable, reliable way. One of the biggest problems that we were dealing with was figuring out a solution on how to run long-running workflows in, du in a durable and reliable fashion. As Varun pointed out earlier, some of these actions take days, weeks, and months. And our current solutions that we had in this within our company were not at that point to support these long-running workflows or actions. So that is where this journey started, where we. I started evaluating essentially what's out there in the industry. This shouldn't be a unique problem that we are dealing with. And how are others solving this problem? And that's when I came across Temporal and started my research and diving further into how Temporal can really help us uh, to address this challenge. Uh, so we started with a few small use cases and tried to stitch two automation steps together and from there that journey started and that's the fascinating guess. This is like the whole new programming paradigm is helping us. We don't have to deal with retries, building logic to manage state, saving state, thinking about all the various failure conditions that uh, you know we could come across because systems are expected to fail. Um, and uh, Temporal takes care of all this for us so that we can spend more time innovating and automating our business processes.
Uh, we're using it for uh, a lot of infrastructure automation use cases, but now we're also uh, expanding it to allow uh, our uh, applications to manage uh, business application, uh, business work, uh, the application business workflows to be able to use it for uh, uh, yeah, uh, for inter-application uh, uh, workflows where applications need to interact with each other to complete a business uh, uh, logic process. Uh, so it's it's gaining popularity beyond just uh, managing infrastructure. And that's where we came in. We As we started uh, using Temporal, there were other teams who saw the success uh, we had with Temporal and they also learned about Temporal from this industry uh, uh, events and they uh, realized that we already have a setup for the control plane that they can use and we ended by de facto we ended up becoming the service uh, the team that provides Temporal as a service and the, as the platform and other teams just start focusing on writing their uh, application business workflows on top of Temporal. Where Temporal is helping us is really uh, 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 in uh, in the operationalization of those products and uh, helping uh, execute things faster. As I said with infrastructure workflows, uh, where we had uh, uh, where we had uh, manual steps and people going and then dependent on availability of people to go and execute a task. Now it's automated, so we have taken humans out of the equation that inherently makes uh, these uh, processes faster. Within business applications, if there were people uh, working on orchestration engines and uh, uh, spending time on managing and maintaining those orchestration engines, they don't have to spend that time because now we have a platform they can just go utilize and uh, they get that engineering bandwidth back and applications continue to work uh, in a very reliable, durable manner and uh, they don't have to worry about it. Somerset at the keynote, you know, you're not, you, you're not getting that call in the middle of the night because you know that that code is going to work, your uh, durable executions are going to happen. Even if there's a failure, there's going to be a retry and if your code is good, if you're just, uh, there was a glitch somewhere else, when you retry, things will just kick off from where they, uh, they stopped and uh, your application is going to continue to be reliable as well. Uh, it took days, uh, uh, hours to days and in some large uh, setup even months that we had to, where we had to bring up a brand new region uh, setup. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a complicated, complex problem, but, but what uh, the Temporal has helped us is to reduce the engineering resources we are spending and uh, let us use machines more to do the work. So we do have uh, something called cross-cloud architecture forums. So that was the first time where our chief architect uh, you know, suggested to me like, hey, this looks interesting and uh, your recent success that you've had with the smaller use case allows us to unlock other possibilities of how we can leverage this technology to solve similar problems with connecting with distributed systems together. So the first time I presented uh, this uh, at the cross-cloud architecture forum is where information essentially traveled and uh, folks uh, were like, okay, this is sounding really interesting. And uh, yeah, these problems are real. We are also facing the same problem. So, Seeing that success is when a few folks took that information back to their respective organizations or business units and said, yeah, we should try to run a POC on top of this, uh, a proof of concept, uh, to see you know, how we can you know, solve one use case after another use case, and that's how the momentum started increasing you know, within the company. And that's essentially made uh, you know, Varun and I to think, oh, we need to make this a real platform. How do we make it even further easy for our developers to avoid having the learning curve to learn a new technology and start investing on developer productivity and elevating the developer experience, bringing in ecosystem of tools on top of Temporal to support self-service, to support uh, auto-debugging and you know, other use cases. Yeah, so for Salesforce, it's become a pretty big enterprise company and we have had a lot of uh, M&As as well over the past few years, which means that there are a lot of, uh, you know, 
different systems that need to come in together and how to, with distributed systems they ought to fail and there are multiple failure conditions. So what we have learned as we are trying to unite these systems together, uh, that we need a common glue or technology that helps us have these systems work seamlessly with each other to provide a unified and connected experience to our customers and Temporal is that glue that's helping us stitch and support these complex systems to interchangeably work with each other. Yeah, everything. <laughs> Anywhere where we have to have a workflow uh, and orchestrated uh, setup, uh, I think Temporal is a technology that can help us there. Uh, we want to enable every team at Salesforce to be uh, to utilize this technology uh, to uh, automate their business workflows and uh, not have to worry about managing state in an orchestration engine because that's exactly what Temporal solves. Uh, of course, we want to make sure that we are able to scale uh, Temporal and uh, and, uh, uh, and make sure that uh, we can to handle the transaction volume at Salesforce scale, which is significantly very uh, high, and uh, 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 and serve our enterprise customers with the uh, with the kind of performance they have expected uh, to have, uh, and continue to run our application in that manner, where uh, uh, we continue to meet our SLAs to our external customers. So, uh, uh, but uh, if uh, once we but we are confident of that. We definitely want everybody at Salesforce to use uh, Temporal for any kind of workflow and orchestration need. Right, we have uh, a lot of gains, productivity gains in engineering. Uh, we are doing more with machines now and, less, uh, and we need to have less people involvement. That's huge for an engineering organization uh, our most precious, most uh, uh, important resources are our engineers. And if we can take them away from doing these uh, the manual tasks or having to manage these bespoke system and utilize that bandwidth to go and work on our core capabilities of building the application, building the features uh, and uh, automating uh, uh, these features and automating uh, our infrastructure code, then that's where we want to spend the time versus them doing these uh, operational work. So that's, that's the biggest ROI that is for us uh, when it comes to using Temporal. Yeah, we want them to focus on the real business value that they're bringing on the new features and innovation that's coming out of the application rather than dealing with all the boundaries of failure condition and uh, you know, spending their time recovering their applications in the event they have run into an incident or an outage. It's, it's a great technology, and I think it's, uh, as uh, Sal mentioned earlier, it's, uh, there are a lot of uh, minds in the community coming together to solve these really hard problems uh, in distributed system space. And uh, we, are, we are very invested in uh, continuing to see this technology flourish, and uh, we want to work with the community, and uh, we encourage the community to participate, and uh, if, you, if people are new and they want to uh, explore, join the community. It's a very active community, and uh, we also appreciate all the support Temporal uh, as a company is providing to, uh, to the community, irrespective of whether it's an, uh, or people are using open source or the cloud version and that's I think a really good uh, a good thing that there's a lot of investment in the community and uh, uh, we, uh, we love being part of this community and uh, working with other good minds to solve uh, hard engineering problems. Yeah, I would say that don't get afraid of the technology, embrace it, try out the sample examples that are on the GitHub uh, repos and once you try it out, I'm sure you'll not go back.